Hello everyone, my name is Lenzy6 and welcome back to Delicious Delicious Bullying. I am apparently completely incapable of getting into a bed. That's fine. Just like real life actually. Actually no, I can get into the bed fine, it's just the actual falling asleep bit that takes what, you know, three hours. Yeah. Go to bed, go to bed at 12, only fall asleep around 3. That's lovely, I love it when that happens. Which means that I'm absolutely, like, exhausted when I should be waking up. And yeah, that's wonderful. Anyway, real life problems aside, go away, crab man. Um, he's crab man because I think. Oh, oh fucking, the audio is really weird today. Um, I think the reason. I think, no, I think the thing that he gives you, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, um, is a crab suit or something like that. It's something useless. Or maybe it's someone else who does that. I don't know. But anyway, no. We're going back to the school for now just for now, because there's going to be a little thing. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie, I have already tried and completely fucked up, and yeah, 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 if you're considering how bad this start was, you can work out how bad the previous start must have been in the entire episode, but hopefully it'll be alright, it'll be fine, it'll be completely fine. So we're going to biology, I already know that, because I have psychic powers. Ah, shit. If you... Yes, I know. If you time that right, you can um, get up that staircase in a double jump. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yep. yep. Don't know what she said, but I agree with her. So here's biology. A little thing just to show that the scholarship edition really was made for the Wii, because Biology and other lessons like music and a few others were only added in the Scholarship Edition version, which is the Wii and Xbox. Name given to the Wii and Xbox versions, even though they're kind of different. Um, and as you can see, look, look at this. It's a point and click kind of thing. It's, it feels very weighty, which is why I'm missing there. You know, it's very obviously made for the Wii. Like, try do this with an analog stick. I would not... I wouldn't want to try this, to be honest, that way. Oh, pardon me. However, okay, this, for the most part, this kind of stuff doesn't matter, because a lot of the scholarship edition stuff doesn't give you anything useful, and that's why biology, I mean, I'll check after this, but biology, and I think music as well, uh, doesn't, and I think maths as well was one of the things added, and none of those give you anything useful. They just give you, like, shirts that you'll never want to wear. Um, yeah, there we go. Very nice. I've turned the volume down for you guys. Oh, wrong thing. At okay, wrong thing entirely. Um, I turn it down quite a lot because it's very, very loud for me. Right. Yeah. It's very, very not nice, but I'm too lazy to actually do it properly. Come on. Turn it down properly. Plus, while this music's loud, like, the actual dialogue bits aren't really that loud, so... Eh. There we go. Get that one. But yeah. The, um, the other one that I think, that I didn't mention that I think was added in the Scholarship Edition was Geography. Which starts by giving you a shirt, I guess to throw you off. But then after that gives you some pretty useful things for finding collectibles. Which, again, not really that useful, but... I mean, actually no, because one of the collectible finding things is the transistors, which unlocks new moves, so it is actually good for gameplay. Uh, at least that one. The other thing is rubber bands, which... I actually think that there is a rubber band in this game that you can only get, I think, during the last mission. And if you don't get it during the last mission, I don't think you can get it at all. But anyway, what we're going to do is... Scoot on over to town. Try not to. Yay! Didn't crash. Nice. Scoot on over to town, and we're going to be doing uh, movie tickets, which is surprisingly at the cinema. And it's uh, part of unlocking unlocking the next girl. Just you know, like uh, how Anita wants us to do our games. Girls are literally unlockable rewards. Um, you know. <laughs> if only it was this easy. You know. I mean, this one, this one's actually difficult, this girl. 
Oh, no, you can't just talk to her, can you? You have to go a few feet away, okay? And then you can talk to her. You can't just... You gotta... Social you social norms, you gotta get it right, okay? You can't just go up to her, you gotta... Stand in the right tile. No, I'm Pinky, but I know yeah. all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Mean, angry, like fighting. Sexually. sexually confused. I mean, talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. half of those are right. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah, I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm going to get terrible seats. Can you please this this is a very nice girl. Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? I'm a you see? And I need people to do things for me. <laughs> oh, man. All right. White man got to pay his dues. So, can't use any violence. And this is no Hitman. You don't get an option. It just tells you exactly what to do step for step. So we're just going to try and do this fast. Then, this other girl who will turn up later in the story, but you feature quite prominently in one of the chapters. And the fact that there are three men chasing after her says a lot about her. She is, um... Mm -hmm. Next one. I have to talk to her even though I know what's about to happen. It's going to say, you don't have any chocolates. I couldn't just go and get some chocolates then. No, I had to go and do that. So, ah, uh, well. Uh, Jimmy knows he has to get chocolates, but, you know, he has to talk to her first just to really make sure. You know, I mean... Thank you for shopping at Yum Yum. She should just be glad. That someone cares about her enough. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not so Jimmy cares. Like, he is literally just like, get the fuck out of the way. Fine, I'll buy you some chocolate if you'll just leave. I, I actually wonder what Jimmy would have had to say to be like, hey, I'll give you chocolates and then give you a kiss if you just fuck off. Like, well, how do you like convince someone to do that? I don't know. Oh, and then the audio fucks up again. Lovely. Yeah, I know. I agree. It really is, but uh, I, I gotta do this for you, lass. Close your eyes and think of England. Or just think of anything else, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, crikey. Oh, well, what is this? And then Trent and Kirby, who are holding hands. Aww. Nice. Oh, what about you? Do you like flat? Yay. Lamau insults the best. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. I, I saw a video earlier of someone uh, doing a little let's play that made me on the one hand think, oh wow, I'm glad I'm not them. On the other hand think, wait, 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 wait. Am I like them? I really hope I'm not like them. Oh shit. And now we've got another lesson. So you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? This is this is a uh, funny meme. Uh, well, first off I have to Actually, wait, no, these are all adults. It doesn't matter. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, if you hit an adult, game over. Some of the cops are actually kind of like... They make you feel sad because it's like... They're basically a, like a what's happening to our society kind of thing, and it makes you feel really sad. I don't want the camera, thank you. There you go. Yep. Always get full bar, because then they get you straight away. You don't have to put up with the waiting for the thing. Music. Again, this is another one I'm just showing you. Also, music is practice for something later, just... I think it's in the next chapter. There's a mission that's based on music. And again, 
you're about to see. Do you think this one was made for the Wii or the Xbox? Just take a look at what you have to do. Matching prompts? Okay, yeah. What kind? How many? Okay, so I've got two hands on a percussion instrument. It's... oh, it's... it's... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Nice. Bam, bam, bam. This is rather easy, don't you know? It's just two things, and it's clearly designed for the Wii, not the Xbox. Fuck. Yeah, it's fine. Another thing about this one. See that percentage? You think, oh, well, that must be like, you know, percentage got right or something. No, because at the end of this, I'm going to get 100% before the end. It, no, it doesn't make sense. And not only am I going to get 100%, but then I'm going to miss after I get 100% and still have 100%. I don't know how they decided on this, but I'm sure there was a good... Re I, they probably just didn't care. I mean, like, it's, these missions don't even give you anything, they give you clothes. Like, in fact, that mission I talked about that uses music, again, doesn't give you anything. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm not going to get 100%. No, I am. Like, and I'm going to miss this one? Still 100. You know, good design. Good design. But hey. And again. Music. I'm not going to do that one again. There's no need. Like, music. That's the kind of stuff we're getting. I mean, again, like I say, I'll check to make sure everything's right, but... It really isn't. Oh, well. Right, so next up, do a paper route. That's quite. Paper routes are actually quite fun, in my opinion. Um, how much time? I think. Oh wait, is paper route still going? If paper route's still going, by the time we get into town, then we'll do a paper route. Otherwise, we'll just go straight to the carnival. I want to show. Carnival's got some interesting stuff. I feel. Uh, I can't show all of it because I tried a little bit out and it just wouldn't work. I don't know why I was doing the right controls. Um, if I'll just explain it because I can't do it. It's one of the, um, you know, like uh, strength test things where you hit things with a hammer and how it works is you have a shake the Wii remote. I can't do that obviously because I'm not using Wii remote, I'm using a keyboard. Now, the way it works is that it uses the, um, you know, just shaking it sideways, which if you've seen the uh, escaping from prefect thing, is the same thing, and I can do that with no problem, but for some reason it doesn't register. It or it does register, but I have to do it at a very specific speed. Like It's not just a case of doing it as hard as possible, and that doesn't get it high enough, and if I do it as fast as possible it doesn't register it properly. And who's chasing me? That was chasing music. Oh well. And the audio is dying, lovely. And you can, yeah, admission, it's only a dollar, so who cares. So, first off, in fact, I completely missed the paper route, so fuck that. So, yeah, small offences, we'll just start this. And this is just a... it's a continuous mission. Yep, small offences. Clue... clue was in the name. And, uh... <laughs> this is... I mean, I keep saying I don't want to bring up politics, but this speech... <laughs> Smash it! Smash the... No, no, I won't. I won't. It's hurting my feelings. I... No. Nice work, Jimmy! You you did it. You you did nothing, Jimmy. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little go. Basically, a lot of these are shooting galleries. So, uh, it's B, right? So that's X. Oh, this is not... So we have to hit... So let's, before we start, okay, I have to hit the guy at the back. Okay. You have what it takes, kid. Um, um, um. Oh fuck, I totally missed. Oh fuck, I, my timing. Uh, fuck. Nice! Oh fuck, I'm so bad. Two out of three? Hmm. That was alright. Did I get anything for that? No. Let's try one more, see if I can get it. You know. 
after that. That was just a warm-up. It's fine. Oh, right, it actually says how many balls. I wasn't even looking at that part of the screen. I'm such a retard. Sorry, but... I have to get three. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, is this it? What? Where have they gone? Oh, oh, no, fuck. Yeah, what? Ah, oh, okay, that was just a... That was the, uh... You know, I'm ready now. I'm ready. My aim is up for shame. You're not wrong there. Don't know how I got that one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Get extra tickets for that, so that was four then. And yeah, not too bad. Four. Eh, pretty quick thing. That's quite nice. Right, and then we've got a shooting range here. Let's try this one out. This one's two dollars, so twice as expensive. Doesn't matter, it's still really cheap. Got loads of cash. And something I was going to do was show off the uh, school shop. It's totally fucking useless, there's nothing good there. Right, so... Right. Uh, so I have to shoot certain... Oh shit, I'm such... Oh my, this is... Wow, this is not nice with a mouse. Oh shit. No! Oh fuck. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh wow, 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 wow. Well... Oh my, this is, this is actually impossible with a mouse. Uh, oh, what? Oh... Yeah, you can get some, you can get loads of tickets from this, but... Oh, dearie me. You have to be good! Like, you have to get at least the Sheriff's badge, really. Oh, I've lost this one. I have totally balls this one up. Uh, like... It doesn't move, like, because it's made for the Wii, it doesn't move like a mouse. Like, if you move it to the left, like, I, my mouse is totally, it's not moving. Bastards! Whoever that is outside, I'm sorry. But they were, let's try this once more, just see if we can actually get any tickets. People speeding down these roads on their motorbikes. Right, we got this. Yeah, you see? It's all about just... Oh, I'm such a retard. Uh... Nice! So you can hit the... F I can hit it when I'm moving super... No, I can't. Uh, I honestly don't even know how I'm hitting anything. Uh, There we go, got one. Right, when's the sheriff badge coming? Because I think the sheriff badge always goes all the way across. Oh, nice! Oh, there we go. We're getting at least one ticket. Or getting two, in fact. Oh, look at that. Because uh, these tickets, you're not just doing this for cuddly bears. I mean, you can. In fact, I could technically just uh, use this as preparation for a different mission. Fuck. Oh, well. Eh. Two tickets, not too bad. If you've gone ri if yeah, I might try this one a bit more uh, later. There's a couple one. There's that one I'm not going to try, and then there's this one. This one's really easy. This one is so easy. I say that I'm going to fuck it up, aren't I? Hey, all you have to do. There you go. Done. One, three prize tickets like that. Of course. If you are really good with the shooting gallery, then it's better per cost, but oh well. So yeah, that is that. And there's a few other things you can check out. There's, you can go on these rides and things. They don't really add anything. Um, there is some interesting stuff around here, I will say. That's another ride, go-karts. That is uh, actual go-kart racing. In fact, I think that's a great way to try this. Because there are some nice rewards from this at the end. I don't think I can do all of them. I think you have to actually play through the game to unlock all the races, but... Yep. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. A and C to... What's C? Fuck. Um, oh, that's right-click, isn't it? No. Uh. Come on. 
let's do this. This is actually quite nice uh, go-kart things, compared to certain other games where uh, go-karts are not nice to drive. This is... yeah. I'm, t I'm looking at you, Armour 3. Fucking hell, the go-kart's in that. Oh. Okay, it doesn't like racing. This is not, surprisingly enough, this is not a go-kart racing game. I'm not surprised the emulation isn't liking it. it. This game wasn't designed for this, but you know, it's quite good. Fairly simple little thing. As long as you don't mess it up early on by getting, because if you hit someone else, you really lose speed. But yeah, just three laps, so we're almost done. Round the corner, round one more, and then final lap coming up. Yeah, look at that, about three seconds ahead. Brilliant. I really like the music in this game. It's just so atmospheric. Like, you got this nighttime racing with this, like, groovy little jazzy thing. Do you like jazz? <laughs> and there we go. You win. So that gives you the crash helmet. You don't really want it for anything. Um, actually, there is one thing which is about laws. When you're driving certain things, you need to have a crash helmet on. Oh, I have actually unlocked. And more prize tickets. You know what? It's only been 21 minutes. Fuck it. <laughs> we'll do another. I like the go-karts. I'm not sure how many races I can do. I'm pretty sure it doesn't unlock all of them straight away, but... You know, we'll find out. So now we're... That was against the nerds. Now we're against the bullies. Ah! And they're bullying. Please. Go. Thank you. And now I've won. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why. This course really... Oh, fuck. Um, it's one of the... Oh, which one is it? What game am I thinking of? Ah, oh, was it... Juiced? That... No. I used to play a lot of racing games and this... Always reminds me of one of them and the certain tracks that they had, but I can't remember what it was. I can't remember. It's been it was something on the PS2. That's all I can tell you. Maybe it was Underground 2. In fact, this does seem very Underground 2e with the whole nighttime thing. Um, and that one also had drifting as well, which this yes, I think that was it. I think it was the drifting races in Underground 2. Maybe. No. What was it? It might have been juiced. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. <sighs> oh dear. It's been many, many years. Oh dear. Those were good games though, those two. Juice had its problems in the replaying it. You suddenly realised a lot of the limitations, like the random drivers that join you. There was no point in waiting for later ones, so you always end up getting the first ones, because by the time new people come along, they've already like, leveled up more than they were, and, yeah. You really you had a chance. But, yeah, it was an interesting, um, idea for a game. Having it based more about having a team. There, there you go. I could do another... No, no, we'll save that for another day. Don't blow your load all at once. Blow your load in small... amount... No, I... I mean... What? I... Fucking hell. So, yes. These are kind of souvenirs you can get. Let's see what we've got. Hi there. Uh, hi! Let's go. So you've got Devil's Horn Hairband. No. A poster. I don't even know where you where that ends up. I, I, I'm guessing it ends up somewhere, but I don't know. Uh, a hat. An incredibly strange hat. I'm sure Team Fortress people would love that. Clown trousers. And the scooter. That's the one you want. 75 tickets for the fastest quote-unquote bike in the game that you can actually use in races. And when you have that, it's, it's it's cheating, okay? The scooter is cheating, and it's totally worth it. And then there's also all this crap you don't really need. Yeah. And then one of the missions, you get a bear as well. Um, for the girl we saw earlier in the episode. But for now, uh, thank you for watching. This has been a little look into some of the things. <laughs> I don't know. Um, in Oh, fucking townies. Go away. Go away. Piss off. Uh, I'm trying to say good... Oh, you know what? It's time for a classic Lindsay ending.